everybody welcome back to my channel today we have another journal that will be for sale at my Etsy shop uh, so today I have I found this gorgeous book um, uh, based on the story of the secret garden um, and I just absolutely fell in love with the artwork uh, and so what I decided I wanted to do um, and I should say so here's the author and then Retold by Elizabeth Goodnight and illustrated by Toko Hasoya. Um, so, yeah, so uh, just really fell in love with the artwork on this book and wanted to maintain the actual story in this junk journal and feature, feature the artwork and kind of just um, add to it with, you know, the fun papers and the collaging and textures add some textile um, and just a little bit of uh, making it look a little bit old and aged. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, walk you through. So as you can see the cover here, uh, the I had to, uh, basically I expanded the spine. Um, I think it was originally like <laughs> that thick. <laughs> so, uh, I, the spine is, let me grab my ruler here. I'll just give you a couple measurements because this is a bigger than usual, uh, journal for me. So if we're measuring just the cover, it's just about eight and a quarter inches, but the total width is more like nine inches wide. And then the height is uh, just over 11 inches tall. And the spine, I want to say, is about two inches. It's two and a half inch spine. So this, this journal, book, whatever you want to call it, art journal, diary, uh, storybook, <laughs> this is a big one. Um, this will hold lots and lots of really fun uh, writing, pictures, everything. There's plenty of room for this to grow. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, this spine uh, material I painted and um, made it look old. But as you could see, it uh, I took the dust cover and had to take the... Um, uh, the title from the dust cover and reapply it on top of here and then there was some other stuff that um it was just kind of like kids storybook time kind of stuff on that so um i uh covered over that with another piece from the dust cover um i uh aged it and made it look a little bit interesting and then here also this is from the dust cover and then again another one that's just pasted on. So these aren't pockets or anything. These are all pasted down. Um, but you could definitely, you know, write on this or add your own kind of nameplate or, um, you know, you could add anything to the spine if you wanted to. But, uh, yeah, so I, I really, I love, I love how this turned out. I feel like I'm talking in circles here and I'm sorry about that, but Yes, so this is kind of one of the reasons why I fell in love with this book. <laughs> this was the original inside front cover and first um, page. So I maintain that. And then, as you can see in the spine here, we've got kind of a roughed up, um, but it's a fabric um, a lining here, which will add more strength. I mean, this thing is not coming apart. So... Um, <laughs> So yeah, uh, throughout the book there's some sewing. This is all pasted down um, again. So this could be a really fun nameplate. Uh, you could maybe add a photo here and turn this into a nameplate. But yeah, just really interesting. Did some sewing along here to combine those two pages. Got some glitter on this brown uh, scrapbook paper. This is from a notebook, um, so this actually says t uh, number and date at the top, and then it's blank white, uh, but then there are little uh, tiny lines right here for, I guess, lines for writing, uh, like a lined paper, but it's not lined. So, uh, And then here we have the start of the book. Again, I kind of covered up some stuff that they had there that was more um, for like kids 
and um, here we have some washi tape that is in the spine. This is glued down, so it shouldn't be coming off. Um, but yeah, I don't know about you, but I just, I fell in love with the illustrations in this book. So I had to do my very best to maintain that as best as I could. Uh, this is from an antique, actually I have it right here, let me show you. This is from an, uh, a dress book. It's called A Victorian Fl uh, Flower Album and um, by Henry Terry. So I want to, I can't remember, and I've kind of torn it apart now. I don't know if I ever remember seeing a copyright. Yeah, here we go. So 1992 is this one. Uh, I found this on eBay, but uh, I'm sure you could find them either on eBay or keep an eye out at your library sales or um, your local thrift stores. It's a really fun book. It's got lots of fun, uh, really cool imagery. So yeah, so this is the address part, but you could definitely journal there. Got some coffee dyed paper. And then here is the start of the actual story. So there are three signatures in this book. Um, the first and the third signature contain the actual story um, in its original uh, order. Um, and in between the pages, I've, you know, add other pages like this. So you'll see like here we've got some scrapbook paper and then some botanical um, photos from another book that I had. And yeah, so so on and so forth. So here we have the story continuing. Um, lots of journaling space here. This is glued down, but and then we have some sewing over here with this little ruffle. Some more coffee dyed papers. And <laughs> so I did kind of an accident, and you can kind of maybe see it here where I got a little bit too close to. Um, where the, the text is and I just barely made this one so you can still read it on this page but some of these other pages um, I tore off just a little bit too much so then I had to do a little bit of surgery on the side here <laughs> and um, add these strips of paper back but actually I, I really ha I love how this turned out uh, I took some washi tape on both sides and some of its fabric washi tape and some of its uh, some Tim Holtz washi, um, but yeah, lots of fun textures and really interesting um, treatment there on this first signature. So here we have the the story continuing, and I just oh my gosh, these illustrations, you guys, it's just so cool. Um, and <laughs> another surgery to paper. <laughs> Uh, this is from another botanical book. This one, I think, is about taking care of your garden and stuff. Some scrapbook papers. Yeah, so this one is kind of telling about the different types of plants and shrubbery. Some more of the story. And, you know, if you don't, if you read through this story and you don't really want to keep the story, I think this, these pages, because of the amazing illustrations, would still be really fun backgrounds for if you wanted to art journal or if you had your own photos that you wanted to cover up some of this with. And I just, it's just really interesting to me. So I wanted to maintain as much of it as I possibly could, so... Uh, some more botanical imagery, and here we have a little pocket. So these are some little seed kind of tickets there. Uh, some scrapbook paper. <laughs> it's the same scrapbook paper as that other piece. So I'll kind of speed up a little bit here. So, yep, we're just kind of walking through the story here, and then here you can see the other side of that address book. Uh, image is just pretty very very unique and it makes uh, it fits in perfectly with the look of this book so. all right coming to the end of the first signature and here we have a card that I've created kind of a tuck spot here and then inside is just a blank sheet of paper that's been folded up and then this opens up sorry <laughs> scoot over 
This, is a big, this book is the biggest one I've ever done. <laughs> so this just opens up and um, you can do some more journaling and add some photos there or something. And then that's the end of the first signature and here we have the next signature. Um, as you can see some really pretty uh, papers by Anna Griffin. So these are nice and thick and sturdy. Um, we'll handle a lot of uh, if you wanted to use this as an art uh, journal, could handle some heavier, um, maybe some paint and whatnot. Uh, here is another page from a book that I have that is similar to Edith Holden, but it's a different author where um, it's a nature journal, so um, writing and talking, um, writing about nature and then drawing what she has seen there. And then here I did a ruffle with some... Uh, of this uh, muslin? No, this material here. <laughs> um, it's just kind of feathery and um, makes it look a little bit old. Uh, some vintage wallpaper here that I have backed with a poem. And both of these are pockets. So this is, um, these are both pockets here. And then we have another one of those pages from that address book blank paper. This is some vintage uh, wrapping paper and this was ripped up here so um, I've filled that in with some uh, antique uh, it's a an instructional I guess magazine on how to make lace <laughs> so it was really cool um, but yeah I just uh, pasted that on and then sewed over it and then just um, worked around that and then um, on the bottom of this is a little pocket but because this is wrapping paper I'm sure you can imagine it's not the most sturdy I didn't reinforce this so you're gonna wanna if you use this as a pocket put delicate papers in here don't don't overfill that one some more lovely scrapbook paper and here we have some uh, coffee dyed scrapbook paper and then wax paper love that crinkle, <laughs> crinkly sound. Some vintage, um, just note paper, I think, or maybe this was a check, a uh, guest check type thing. Uh, and then again from that other book about shrubs and, um, this one's going to tell us how to prune. Some more vintage wallpaper. And then here you can see better. This is some more of that, uh, book I was telling you about, uh, how to uh, make lace. So this is pasted down, um, but you could definitely add photos on top of here and just really make it really interesting. And then again, another page from that uh, nature journal book I was telling you about. Um, this is from 1920? 1920? 1920? Uh, it's a, it's a book for, it's kind of like a farmer, farmer's almanac, um, idea. But it's for a particular state, and I cannot tell you, I want to say it's Indiana. Uh, anyway, I found it at an estate sale, and some of the pages in it were just perfect for this book. because, um, And these are both pasted down, so um, this isn't a pocket. It's too delicate to become a pocket. But uh, I thought it was a really fun background if you wanted to use this um, as like a page for some photos and stuff. But definitely read through this first. It's really interesting. <laughs> Um, again, um, the back side of that other page and yep. So here's the statement, the note page, some copy dyed paper. And then here's the other half of that, uh, vintage, uh, wrapping paper, the pocket and then the address book. And here again, from that same book from the 1920s it says foods children need for proper growth <laughs> and then um, this one's glued down uh, but this is kind of a little belly band down here so you could if you had some little envelopes or something that would be how cute would it be to um, you know have the flap go over and kind of house those right there that'd be really sweet or you could tuck a, a note or some paper or something that you have written on so some lace here on the edges. I just love the illustrations of this. 
um, artist. She's just, it's a really fun book. Um, so that's the end of Signature 2, and then here we go again with Signature 3, and we're going to pick back up with the storybook. So again, these are glued down, just some a little collaging here at the bottom. Really great room for uh, if you wanted to write. Uh, another gardening book here. Um, some coffee dyed ledger paper, and then here we go again with the story. Some music paper. And this says, grow free, grow wild, sweet, bloom. So very much garden, um, garden themed. Sorry, I'm working around my camera. I keep saying I need to get that situation fixed and do something different. But, <laughs> you know, life happens and you don't think of it <laughs> until you need it. Um, here is a really fun, it's from an old book teaching you how to draw um, vegetation so in this in this one it's teaching you how to um, draw trees so that's really fun um, here we have some craft paper that has some gesso on it really love just the different textures and kind of reminds me a little bit of bark almost um, like with those birch trees in the background so, some more scrap of paper this is from a really fun book about uh, fashion for women in um, the Victorian era. And the images were just awesome. And because it was in the same time frame as when the book takes place, I thought it really worked well with this um, particular journal. So, middle of the last signature. Don't you just love this? The illustrations. I mean, it's just so... There's, every page is just so interesting. Uh, you just don't know what you're going to see next. And I just love how it's kind of like childlike, but at the same time it's grown up. Like, I want to find more from this, this artist. It's just... They're very, very talented. So... Some more about learning how to draw trees, and then this folds out here, so got a little bit extra room there. Let's get a little, <laughs> little piece from that fabric. Here we have a book page that I have um, uh, done some ink treatment to it, and then I put a napkin on top and then watercolored over it. So both sides have these lovely, lovely little bluebirds on them. I thought they were just really sweet. And then there's that music paper again. And we're almost done. So here's the end of the book, or the end of the story. And then we have some of this ledger paper. And then that's the end, the last of the book. So. There you go. So here we have um, the Secret Garden journal, uh, and uh, if you would like to purchase this, I will make it for sale in my Etsy shop, and I'll have a link down in the description below to get to my Etsy shop. And yeah, so uh, I have some more garden journals uh, kind of started. They're going to be uh, more generic, not based off a story or anything like that. So. Um, you may see some of the same um, papers that it were used in this one. If you missed out on this one or something, or if you like some of the papers in here but didn't really want to do the bigger book or the illustrated pages, totally get that. So I'll have some more available um, that are going to just be more generic and um, probably not too many tuck spots or anything. I'm going to try and do some more um, just blank journals since um, those sell so well. You guys seem to want that kind of this kind of a thing more um so yeah i'm gonna try and do some variety for you guys so um i can get some done faster <laughs> and available to you more quickly um and then i'll pick and choose some other ones to add more um uh, design and um work in them so this one's kind of a little bit of between it's not too full, but there was definitely some fun elements throughout that I really had a good time doing. So anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all again soon. Bye!